Yo, what's going on guys? It is Sam here, and today we are back uh, for the 50k special. I'm going to be releasing my 50k pack down in the description, as well as Lulboat's uh, re-release. I'm re-releasing Lulboat's shaders, because apparently there's no download for that. And uh, here are the clips of my 50k pack with the new shader pack on, or I guess the old shader pack on, that a lot of people have been asking for. Uh, that will be down in the description. It was my old friend, Lulboat, so I want to give credit to Boats real quick. Um, he was one of my first YouTube friends back in the old Mindplex days. And I had a great time uh, with my friends playing with these back in the day. So here are those shaders. There's the 50k pack. And before I get into talking a lot um, about life and stuff and how great you guys have been to me, I want to say my Discord is... I'm going to be starting to use Discord a lot more. It's going to be down in the description. So if you guys want to hop on and get the chance to talk to me, I'll probably be on my Discord at least once a day. Um, that'll be fun. Uh, a reminder, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be streaming every day now. About like... Or maybe every other day. But try and check my channel around 4 p.m. EST. Maybe 3 p.m. EST. Uh, for all you people in school, uh, I, that's when I'll be streaming. So if you guys want a chance to fight me or 1v1 me on stream, um, or just interact and talk to me and give me the chance to talk to you, maybe meet me if you haven't, uh, that'll be your chance. I love talking to you guys. I love meeting new people. It's, I'm really, really grateful for you all. Um, so that'll be your chance to do that. And my Snapchat is now public. So Real Samito D is my Snapchat. It will be down in the description as well. So everything you guys need will be in the description as well as what mods I use in 1.8. So my mod release, uh, my 50k pack release, the shaders re-release, my discord release, and my snapchat um, are all down in the description. So if you guys want them, that's the place you're going to go. Uh, there's a lot of fights with shaders in my 50k pack in this video. If you want to check them out before you download the pack. And there is also a lot of fights without the shaders. So uh, that being said, next part. So 50,000, guys. 50,000. That's crazy to think about. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my story and how much you guys mean to me about this whole journey. Um, I, I was going to do a kind of big special because, you know, the big, the big milestones are 10k, 50k, and 100k for the first leg of your channel. Um, so I, I'll do like a big montage or something on my 100k video. Not really my 50k video. I just want to talk to you guys briefly. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you all so much. You guys have allowed me to live a dream of mine. Um, I remember first starting my Wreck and Randy series. Uh, that was the first series I ever had was Wreck and Randy's on my channel. Uh, Christmas of 2014 was when I first started doing it. It was like halfway through my senior year of high school um, that I started my Wreck and Randy series. And it was, um, I had a lot of fun. Like uh, recording Wreck and Randy's on old Mindplex champions where, where I kind of I started. Um, it's been so much fun for me. And I, I love looking back and seeing all these memories with all of you guys and, and all the old Mindplex people that motivated me to do YouTube. I, I really didn't get very much motivation from my IRL friends. My IRL friends never really supported my channel. I mean, I had a handful. A lot of them didn't know about it, but uh, the ones who did kind of mocked it, which is kind of funny because I guess, I mean, look where we are now. I have all of you guys in my life, and I'm so grateful for you. Um, you have no idea, guys. You all have allowed me to take time off school and pursue a passion, pursue a dream of mine. Even though I did take a break for a bit, I took a break to play Overwatch for a bit. But, you know, I'm glad I did. I wanted to explore that possibility. A lot of people are like, oh, Sam, you're so bad at games. Like, you're you're just a bad Mindplex player. But literally, they know I was literally ranked top 25 North America at Overwatch at my peak in Season 5. So I can play other games competitively at, at the highest level. Um, I just don't, that's not what I want to do. I'd rather create content for you guys. I, I found that I enjoy that more. It's less stressful. And it's just more fun, like, just being able to create content, especially in this space. Like, I love Minecraft player versus player. I think Minecraft PvP, like, build UAC style with rods and all that stuff is so much fun. And there's been so much fun in this game that I have had. But I want to thank a lot of people on my journey. Um, I, I want to thank uh, my good friend Dawson and, like, Ty or Tyler, as you guys know, and, like, Nestor and all you guys. You guys have been great friends to me recently. And, and I, I've only known you guys for, like, a year and a half now. You know, it feels like it's been way longer. Even though I did meet Dawson in my first, the first time I ever wanted to do YouTube was uh, I actually met Dawson, Tyler's, and I did not know I met him. It was in Beijing Canadians Hunger Games 48 in MCSG 2012. Dawson and I actually were both in the video in the final fight, and uh, it was that moment when I saw that, that feeling I had. I was like, wow, I'm on this guy's video. This is pretty cool. It was that moment I knew that sometime down the line I wanted to do YouTube. At the time, I was on a Mac, and I was playing basketball. It was like my sophomore year, and I really just didn't have time to do it all, uh, so I, I never really got the chance to. But it was that moment that I knew I wanted to do YouTube and I wanted to try and make my dream come true by doing this. And uh, this is a dream job. This really, really is a dream job. It's a lot of work. There aren't any shortcuts, but this really is a dream job that you guys have allowed me to have. Uh, you know, when I first started again in 2014, I was, you know, up till four in the morning making sure my videos got out. I had to wait with my two upload speed for my videos to upload over an hour. Like a 10 minute video would take an hour and a half to upload. And I stayed up all night making sure that it got uploaded properly and that my internet didn't crash to make sure that you guys were getting content. And that the summer I was going back to college or going to college. And um, when I actually got to school, I, uh, I, I had 8 a.m. classes. 
a break from about 9.30 a.m. to, you know, lunchtime. So I would record a Myplex video at about 10 a.m. every day, try and get it out by 1 p.m., upload it, and then it'd be out by 1 p.m. and ready for my afternoon classes, and I'd post it, and everything would be great. And I, I was on the grind for you guys, and I really, really loved it. Uh, I did get burned out for a little bit, and I'm sorry about that, but I think taking a break was great for my content. I was really, really burned out. It'd been, like, playing consistently only Mindplex for about four years, and I realized I just needed balance in my life. And, um... And I finally found that balance and I found good balance now between uploading high pixel content and Mindplex and Ultra and all this stuff. And I'm seriously grateful for you guys because I've had a long journey. I have a lot of people hating on me along the way. So if there's any advice I can give you guys is don't give up if just because people are hating on you. Don't give up. Only you know your limits. I had a lot of people telling me, your channel, like like in the old Toxic Champions community days on Mindplex, people like, your channel's never going to do well. You're like 500, 600 subs. You're never going to get there. You're never going to get to this point. But I, I stayed confident in myself. I knew what I was capable of. I knew what I could do. I saw all these other YouTubers out there doing it. I saw, you know, guys like uh, even Parker Games. I, I loved Parker Games, dude. Parker Games is great, dude. Parker, I'm sorry, he's, he's got his own, like, Disney channel now, which is really, really awesome. He was the first, like, real Mindplex creator. So all, all the Mindplex creators really looked up to him as a creator. And I told him that when I met him. I said, dude, I really, like, you really did inspire a lot of people in our community to create content. He was definitely one of the people that inspired me to make content because he made it look like it was so much fun. And to be frank, I've had so much fun creating content content to be at the point where I have 50k now is just so so awesome so there's so many people that I want to thank I want to thank Lolboats for helping inspire me like I had a, a good group of friends like Josh to Relly the Mindplex admin uh, who really inspired me and kept me going he really was um, I, I had the sword glitch there but he really was a good friend to me and, and supported me pursuing YouTube well I, I definitely have lost friendships along the way guys of people who have kind of gone their own way and kind of were more envious of what I was doing and decided to put me down and I've lost a lot of friendships like that um which really really does sing people think that you've changed people look at me and uh they, like a lot of people have looked at me and be like you changed like you're not genuine like you're fake i'm gonna expose you but the thing is i really haven't changed like i only want good things for this community i only want good things for people so it's just really it was really disappointing for me to like see people just calling you out simply because you're getting viewership and calling you fake and stuff like i don't i don't deal with fake stuff in my life i don't deal with any of that and you guys shouldn't either at the end of the day it has nothing to do with viewership it has everything to do with what's genuine and what's not and that's what I've learned along my way. I thought I would get here and I'd be a totally changed, totally different person. Well, I have changed a lot. I've become a different person. I've become more enlightened. I've become more determined. I've seen what I can do and how I can inspire people. And because I went to MindCon, I had people waiting in line for an hour to get my autograph, get a picture with me and the Mindplex team this past a year ago. And it was mind boggling to me that people were willing to wait to talk to me. And I was making people's days by simply seeing them and talking to them. And that feeling, there's no better feeling in the world than that. There's not. There's not. Seeing somebody smile because of you, there's nothing better in the world than that. And that's what I want to do. I want to show people the power of games and make kids have the good childhood experiences that I had playing games with my friends because those are the best days of my life that I had when I had not a worry in the world and got, got to play games with my friends and have a truly an amazing time. Uh, it's been just a remarkable experience for me to, to be alongside you guys. and I had the chance to do that and I'm able to do that now. It is all because of you. So thank you all so much. Like, it, it means the world to me. I, I, I can inspire people and I'm going to continue to do that. So thank you so much. Like, honest to God, like you all have changed my life. I'm able to live my dream, even though I'm up at all hours of the night, every night nowadays. Um, it's 100% worth it. Uh, for you guys. I love making content for you guys. I'm going to continue to try and make great content for you guys. And you all have changed my life forever. Um, and, and thank you so much. The best thing I can I can advise you guys to do is stay determined. Don't let people put you down. At the end of the day, you know your limits. And only you can shape your own future. And it's always in your choice and in your mind to do that. So if you want to push your limits, if you want to push yourself, do it. Do not let other people put you down. Do not let other people dictate how you can live your life. Because I've learned that. I, was, I had my friends putting me down for doing YouTube. A lot of them did back in the day when I was first starting. I mean, there are obviously the jokes on them now, but I pushed my limits. I set a goal for myself and I went out and I got it. And I'm not done. I wanna, I wanna take, I wanna show everybody the power of games out there. And I'm, I'm not even close to none, guys. I'm gonna keep working hard for you guys. I'm gonna keep, keep grinding. Because again, I took a break for a while, and that's my biggest regret. Um, I wish I could have stayed focused on this community because obviously Overwatch is not like working out for me. Like it, I wanted to make content on it, but clearly, like it's just not the same as this community. And I, I really, really enjoy this community, and I want to stay a part of it. Um, but again, don't let other people dictate your futures. Everything that you have learned, it's on you to, to take yourself to the next level, to push your limits. Because if I could look back now, if I could look forward and see myself back then, 
I would be so I would be so proud of myself and I would be like I know I can do it so at the end of the day I know what I'm capable of I know I'm capable of great things and you guys should know that you're capable of great things as well the only thing that's gonna stop you is yourself if you want something go get it don't settle go get it that's my that's all I can tell you I don't want you all to settle I want to teach you guys life lessons as well as show you all the power of games and that's my responsibility to do with the following a lot of people <laughs> I've seen so many youtubers this makes me so mad guys I've seen so many youtubers come out here and just set a horrible example for you all and it really makes me angry because I, if you have a following it's your responsibility to show people a better way to do things and so many people misuse that so many people abuse that and it, it's so annoying to me like do the right thing do the right thing guys be good be good and good things will follow to you so thank you all so much i could ramble on for an hour about all the things i want to teach you all uh, I, I can't do it right now, but um, thank you so much for 50k. It's uh, uh, it's been amazing so far, and uh, I hope uh, to continue this adventure with you guys. And I'm gonna continue to work hard for you guys, and I'm gonna continue to push myself for you guys until uh, until the end. So um, thank you so much. I really really appreciate all of you, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.